been a while, guys. It's been a while since I filmed in general, because all of May's videos were pre-filmed. Well, the vlogs weren't really pre-filmed, but I mean they were. I didn't post them until after we had finished the book. Uh, but yeah, like I said, it's been a while. Uh, how have you been? It's been, I got my hair highlighted. That's how long it's been since you've seen me. And on vacation. I want some, I want to film some vacation videos, but I, I don't know if I'd post them, so I don't know if I'm going to film them or not. Anyway, it's been a while since I filmed, so I'm sorry if I'm a little bit out of it. Uh, and also, it's been a while since we did a wrap-up, because I didn't do a wrap-up for April, because, first of all, I didn't have any free Mondays, and second of all, I didn't read very much in April. I read two books in April and two books in May, so I read four books over the total of two months. You know, when I set it for 50 books in 2021, it seemed very reasonable. Am I going to hit it? I don't know, because I wanted to write more in 2021, and that's exactly what I did, but I also don't read nearly as much as I used to. So, since it's been so long since I read these books, there is a very, very, very high possibility that I don't remember what they're about. Um, did I read good books this time? No, I did not. Uh, I only have one four star. The rest are below that. Okay, uh, let's do this. I suck at wrap-ups. I got 30 minutes to film this. I got to go. All right. So, the first book I finished in April, I have a whole review on Goodreads, I'll link it down below, but that was the sequel to my, I mean, yeah, the sequel to my first five star, I believe, of 2021, and that was The Secret of White Stone Gate by Julia Nobel. I gave this two stars, my granny gave it two stars, this was such a disappointment. I just remember, because I'm going to, you know going off what I remember, I just remember I had no want to pick this up, which if you know what, how my feelings towards the first book in this series, which is The Mystery of Black Hollow Lane, you know that I couldn't put it down. I loved the first book, and this book was just so disappointing. And also, it's the end of the series, yet so many things were left unanswered, and there was just so many opened questions, and like... <sighs> I hated how it ended. It added two new characters to the story, but I don't feel like it did anything with them. I mean, I didn't trust a single one of them uh, because they were brand new and we had this brand new mystery. Basically, in this mystery, it's where um, Lila, is that her? Lola, sorry. It's where Lola ends up being framed for stealing money for this Whitestone Society, I think that's what it's called. Oh, Jesus, I have no idea. Uh, it's where she gets framed, and so you're trying, to, like, it's a mystery of who, who framed Lola, which, first of all, not as good of a mystery as who's trying to kill Emmy, as that's what the first book's about, anyway, um, and it's just, like, you had two brand new characters, I didn't trust a single one of them, and I just, I didn't feel anything for this, there was no, actually, there were three new characters, I'm sorry, I forgot I'm out, that one. Uh, but yeah, I felt no drive for this book. I was bored throughout a lot of it. My granny, like, enjoyed it, and she didn't know if she was going to give it a three or a two. She said she was going to decide and wait for the ending, and the ending came, and oh my god. It was so bad. It was so bad. And one of my favorite things about the mystery was Emmy and her relationship with her father, and it was left open and Julia, how dare you do that to me? How dare you do that to me? Family relationships are one of my favorite things in books, and then this one has one, and they just did not answer it at all. Anyway, um, I will read more Julia Nobel books. If she puts out more books, I will pick them up if they sound intriguing to me, but this was a no-no. I would recommend reading the first book, just not this one. If you want to know what happens in this book, you have to look up a video on the spoilers, because I don't remember. All right, so the next book I finished in April was Rune and Rising by Leigh Bardugo. I finished this. I read this entire, the original Grisha trilogy with my granny so we could watch the show together. I have not seen the show yet. 
I uh, was going to do reactions on it, but then I couldn't get the footage, so I was like, just they're going to watch it, apparently. Uh, but yeah, this is the third book in the Grisha trilogy. The first time I read it, I gave it four, and I went into this with, like, low hopes because I just remember it being so boring. I read this with um, my friend Diana, and she could not get through the first 100 pages of this. I was like, Diana, I need my book back. you got to read it, sweetie. Uh, so... I just remember it being so boring. My friend Diana thought it was boring, but my granny, she liked this book. I gave it a three star upon reread, and my granny ended up keeping it at a four. Well, she didn't read it the first time, but she, she gave it a four. And yeah, this is the sequel to Grishaverse. What's the Grishaverse about? Or what's Shadow and Bone about? Go watch the movie trailer, or the TV show trailer, because that's on there. Um, I'm doing... This will mean all these books are sequels, so I can't really tell you guys what they're about, and I suck at them. I don't even remember what they're about, so. The next book I read, oh, Mark of Athena by Rick Riordan. What do you think I gave this? What do you think I gave this? This is the third book in the Heroes of Olympus series. I gave the first book a four star, looking back on it. I think it was way too generous. I have a second book, a two star. What did I give the third book? I gave it a two. I gave it a two. My granny gave it a 3.5. But the only reason she, it was going to be a three, but she really liked the ending of the book, which is why she bumped it up to a 3.5. Now, this entire series I dislike a lot. I don't like this series at all, and I'm so sad about it because I loved Percy Jackson, and when I finished Percy Jackson, I was so sad. I felt like a part of me was missing, so I was really excited to get this book and this series, and it's just so bad. Why? Rick, okay, explain, let me... Why is it so long? That's the question. Because so much of this could have been cut or it could have been shortened, like Rick. Dude, you don't need a book this big. It was just, it dragged on for so long. And I mean, the ending was fine because it finally something happened. And I can, we're reading, my granny and I are reading the fourth book because of the cliffhanger and this ended on. I own all five of the books, so like, eh. Um, I like Percy. He's my favorite character of the first series. He's my favorite character out of this series. I don't like any of the new additions to the series. I, I don't hate them, but I just don't like reading from them. I like Percy and I like Jason. Those are like the only people I enjoy reading from. Um, I don't find these books funny anymore either. And I found the first five books, uh, per the original Percy Jackson series. I found those books really funny and I just don't find these books funny at all. I find them a drag. I just know, like when I get up in the morning, I have to force myself to read them. I skip giant paragraphs of it. I did that for this book especially because it was just so, so boring. And then, yeah, I just wanted a good book. and I didn't get that at all in April. And I read this, I started in April, and I read into March. So, uh, I mean, May, Jesus, M May, March, it's been happening all month, I don't know. Okay, let's talk about the next book I read, which is the only book I gave four stars. The best book I read out of the past two months, and that is Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson. I read all of these books with my granny, uh, and both my granny and I gave this a four star. Now, I read Margaret Rogerson's debut back in 2019. It was I read it in two days. I really, really, really loved her debut novel, so I went into this expecting a five star. I didn't get a five star. I did really enjoy this book. I like Nathaniel, and I like Elizabeth. I like, I mean, I prefer Nathaniel. I don't know, magic. I don't know. I don't dislike Elizabeth, but it's told in her story. I don't know. Out of the two, I'd pick Silas. Um, that's who I'm going to say. I'd pick Silas. Out of the two, I'd pick Silas. Anyway, um, I went in this with, like, an expectation of a five-star. I didn't get a five-star. I got a four. It was still really good. I'm still going to be picking up her third novel when it comes out of paperback, so they all match on my shelf right here. They all right here, and they match, you know, because they're paperback. Um, this book, I can give you a description. This book is about Elizabeth, who ends up being framed for the murder of her director, her 
boss. Um, after a magical book, a grimoire has escaped, turned into like this evil ink monster. No, do not think about that ink monster game. Blinky and the Ink Monster, is that what it's called? It's, I remember just thinking of Troll Hunters. You know, they all blur on my head. I can't really tell you which is which anymore. Uh, but yeah, it gets turned to this giant ink monster. She has to fight it. She kills it. But she is now blamed for the murder of her boss. And the only person she knows who believes her that she didn't kill her boss is the evil sorcerer Nathaniel. And there's romance, not much of it. One thing Margaret Rogerson is great on is not giving you romance. And I love romance, but I mean, it's still in here. They have some flirty moments. Nathaniel is bi, I think. I mean, he's dated a guy and he likes girls. That's explicitly stated. I I marked it on my thing because I liked that part. I liked that part of the story. I marked it right here. Um, I don't know, where'd it go? Anyway, Nathaniel likes both boys and likes girls, and I, I like Nathaniel a lot in this book. So, yeah, that's that. Out of all of these, what would I recommend? You bet your bottom dollar, it's gonna be this one. I'm joking, I'm gonna recommend the only one I liked, which is this one. Yeah, that's my wrap up. Is it a mess? Definitely, it's not a clean video, that's for sure. But I still hope you guys enjoyed it because, I mean, this video I feel like is like the epitome of my personality and my filming strategies and just how I post videos and what I do. They're always chaotic. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I'm gonna give it a big fat thumbs up. Subscribe down below because I post videos on this channel every single Monday and most Fridays, it's becoming a trend. Um, I post edits of Troll Hunters or Miraculous Ladybug if you're into that. I have a Troll Hunters edit coming out Friday the 4th and guys, I love it. So go and watch it if you want to. I mean, even if you don't watch Troll Hunters, you should watch it just to support me. But if you watch Troll Hunters, you should go watch it because I'm really proud of it. Okay, bye everyone. I love you. I'll see y'all next Monday for another video. Hopefully, I don't know what I'm going to post, so you might not see me next Monday. And yeah, uh, bye. Okay, done. Hey, don't forget I'm so freaking bulldozer. My goodness, it has been a while. Bye everyone.